Hello and welcome to our video instructions on how to fill out and submit our microbiology submission form. This form is required for submission of clinical specimens including virology, bacteriology, mycobacteriology, serology, parasitology, and select agents. This submission form must accompany all specimens. Each sample must have its own submission form. If you are trying to open the submission form on Google Chrome, please refer to the written two-page instruction link for the Google Chrome specific instructions and download link. Before starting, keep in mind that all information on the submission form must match the information on the specimen label. All fields highlighted in yellow are required to be completed for each submission. The form is divided by patient information, submitting agency, specimen information, and if applicable, ordering provider information. When filling out the required fields, please remember to ensure correct spelling. Beginning with patient information. Type in the patient's last name and first name in the appropriate fields. For demonstration purposes, we will be using the name Jane Doe. Even though the middle initial of the patient is not a required field, if the specimen label has a middle name or middle initial, then the submission form must include that information and it must match. Date of birth is filled out in the month backslash day backslash four digit year format. The age of the patient is auto generated based on the date of birth. Click on the box corresponding to the sex of the patient. For demonstration purposes, we will be choosing female. When typing in the patient ID, ensure that it matches the sample label. While the patient street address is not a required field, if you choose to include the patient street address on the submission form, please be sure to include the correct zip code. When filling out the submitting agency name, click on the drop down arrow to select the appropriate agency name. Be sure to verify that the correct address and phone number auto-populates. If you are unable to find your agency name in the drop-down, you can type your information directly into the required field. Ensure that all typed address information matches that of your agency. Ordering provider information is not required but can be filled out by directly typing onto the form. Please use the top mark tell when typing in the telephone number. The last section of the form is labeled specimen information, the collection date, type of specimen slash source, and the test request are required for submission and testing. When filling out the collection date, use the month backslash date backslash four digit year format or select the date from the calendar using the drop-down arrow. Please state the source of the specimen by checking one of the boxes. If selecting serum as a specimen source, indicate whether it is acute, convalescent, or random. If selecting blood as a specimen source, indicate whether it is a purple top, EDTA, green top, heparin, or other. If other, please specify. If selecting tissue, body fluid, or swab site, specify using the drop-down arrow. If selecting other, specify specimen source by either using the drop-down arrow or directly typing onto the form if you do not see your specimen source. For demonstration purposes, we will be choosing serum and convalescent. Be sure to select at least one test. Please refer to the microbiology guide to lab services for more information on specific testing, which is hyperlinked to this form. For demonstration purposes, we will be selecting measles as our test. Once all required information is filled out, click on the green print button at the lower left corner of the form. This will generate a barcode and your submission form will be ready to print.
If you try to print using the printer icon in Adobe, you will get an error message. Please use the green print button as the form will not print without a barcode. To start a new submission form, click the red reset button at the bottom of the page. Clicking the reset button clears all sections of the form. If you are submitting multiple samples, you can keep the submitting agency information but change all other required fields as each section has a corresponding reset button. Please do not make copies of a submission form from a previous sample set in. Each sample needs to correspond to its own barcode. Thank you for listening to our audio instructions on how to fill out our microbiology submission form. If you have any questions, please contact the Arizona State Public Health Laboratory at 602-542-1188.